It's the dawn of a new day in weddings. For a modern bride who wants to make a show-stopping statement as she walks down the aisle, bling is the thing. Bling is anything that sort of sparkles, shines, and adds glitz and makes people say, wow, look at that. And what better place to have other people say, wow, than when you say, I do. Stay with us as we bling on the bride. I think the most recent celebrity wedding that has kept the bling train going was when Eva Longoria married Tony Parker. Eva's emerald cut diamond ring was estimated to cost half a million. Nothing to sneeze at, but a mere bauble to the star who reigns as the queen of all things bling, Elizabeth Taylor. Liz has a vault of gigantic gems given by her husbands, all eight of them. The most famous from hubby number five, Richard Burton, a 69.42 carat pear-shaped diamond. This stone was so blatantly bling, it was given its own name, the Taylor Burton Diamond. An even more famous gift from Burton was the 33.19 carat Krupp Diamond. How attached is she to this beacon of brilliance? When David Beckham reportedly offered to buy it to bling out his wife, Taylor replied, David will be welcome to buy the ring for Victoria, but only after I'm dead. So if Elizabeth Taylor's the queen of bling, who's the king? Many would say Los Angeles jeweler Neil Lane. I have a lot of names people have called me, and magazines have called me, like Ace of Diamonds, uh, King of the Ice Age, I don't know, uh, Guy with the bling of thing, I don't know, so many. Uh, I don't know, I like to be called Neil. Whatever you call him, this is the man who decks out Hollywood royalty with the crown jewels. Not only have I designed and created engagement rings for some of the most famous Hollywood people in, you know, in the world, I've also been involved in creating the diamond jewelry for their wedding. With Jennifer Lopez, we did $7 million of beautiful diamond chains and earrings and bracelets. It was extraordinary. With Kate Walsh, we did amazing earrings for her wedding. A beautiful jubilee cut diamond over five carats. Kate Hudson got a beautiful Asher cut. You know, we do with these most amazing things. And once the celebrity conscious public saw Bling in action, they wanted it for their weddings too. Once Bling hit the scene, a simple strand of pearls would no longer cut it. This is the over-the-top amazing look. The chain look, the diamond bracelet look, the diamond earrings, very similar to what Jennifer Lopez, our Hollywood royalty. Chains, necklaces, bracelets, earrings, amazing. It's a wedding. It's supposed to be fun. It's supposed to have life and, and you're celebrating. And the bride, you know, you walk into a room, it needs to be clear who the bride is. You shouldn't be standing around saying, which one do you think is the bride? <laughs> what I think has happened today because jewelry is so important, jewelry has become just much more than just an accessory. It's become part of the outfit. Dresses cost $10,000. They take six months to make. You can't really wear this, you know, couture wedding gown with like little pearl earrings. I mean, you could, but they look stupid. And for the bride who's looking to add a little bling with a lot of impact, where's a good place to start? A little sparkle around the ear is one of the most important factors of wedding bling. The focus is the face. I mean, when the camera's on, you know, you want to see this happy couple like, hi. You know, if you don't see some sparkle at the ear, it's kind of boring. You've spent so much time, so much money, and so much effort to make this dress, this occasion. You ruin it by a dinky accessory. So jewels now have become a very important factor. People now take six months to build their jewels. We build jewels for people's weddings. We look at their wedding dress. We look at the crystals and we look at the design. We now coordinate what the dress is like, what the jewelry is going to be like. Another signature of Neil Lane is his ability to create a new design that looks like a precious heirloom. I look at 1920s, I look at the Edwardian period, 1900s, and I see the beauty of how they created jewels then. And I incorporate it into my designs, filigree work, little tiny diamond work. People love that today. Catherine McPhee, she wanted something romantic, something dark and platinum, something really 19th century inspiration. So she wore these. The darkened diamonds against her white gown was extraordinary. 
One of the trends we're seeing now is the colored diamonds. We're seeing the pink and we're seeing the yellow. And those are just absolutely fabulous. Like Eva Longoria, Jennifer Lopez, all these girls have got these huge rocks on their finger. I love colored diamonds. Here we have colored diamonds, really pretty. Rebecca Romain wore these to her wedding with a very sentimental bracelet with a heart motif. Hearts are a great, great jewel. They represent love, eternity. So when you're making a promise for eternity and you want to do it in style, all you need is imagination and a lot of money in the bank. When we just talked about this 28 karat D flawless diamond, over $3 million. A 28 karat diamond is extremely rare, and especially in a D flawless, there's maybe one in the world and that's here. Diamonds just bring a lot of happiness, a lot of joy. If you were wearing this ring, you wouldn't be happy. Everyone would be happy with that ring. Say goodbye. Bye-bye. <laughs>